I served in Operation Enduring Freedom uh, at uh, Camp Arif Jan, Kuwait. Um, in February of 2012 is when I actually deployed. I kind of uh, think this is kind of unique because I, I traveled 4,000 miles to work in the DOC. I was part of the CENTCOM Distribution Operations Deployment Center, the CD DOC, uh, where I was responsible for uh, ensuring the movement of troops uh, into, around, and out of the uh, uh, AOR which is the area of responsibility. I actually joined uh, the active duty Air Force when I was 19 years old. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was over an overwhelming feeling of patriotism uh, to join. It was shortly after the first Gulf War and uh, that, that there was something inside of me that just kind of called me to serve. Um, and that was when I was 19 years old and I served for four years. After that, I got out and got into the Air National Guard, which is a, it's more of your community, which is what made me stay in. Um, when I do a drill weekend, it's with friends and, and uh, co-workers and people of the community, so it was just a comfortable fit. The, the defining moment of being at the airport, knowing that I was about to leave my family. Um, at the time, I had a three-year-old little girl and a six-year-old little boy. And the toughest part of deploying overseas was actually getting on the plane. And the, the moment <clears throat> for me was when my little girl and little boy were standing at, at that window and they're waving. And I'm leaving for six months. And I know I can't just say, no, I don't want to do this. And I can't turn around the, the finality of daddy's going to war. And <clears throat> that was probably the hardest, most defining uh, point of my service was, was that moment.